The new card, Haste with Sash Skeleton, has a lot of potential. When it enters a Mega Skeleton token, and we suspect it, meaning that it has Menace and can't block, that's pretty balls, but on our end step, if we control no suspected skeletons, we can pay two mana to dig for any card, and that last part's pretty good. So how do we make that last part happen? We could kill our own token, but that would be pretty derpy der. Or we could sacrifice our skeleton with Christ to kill a creature, but we're not gonna get any big titty hoes doing that. But what we could do instead is mutate our skeleton. No one remembers what mutate does. Mutate means the two creatures merge into one, with Gem Razor on top, the skeleton turns into 4 4, but most importantly, the new creature's no longer a skeleton, it's now a beast. So even though it's still suspected, when our case checks for a suspected skeleton, we don't have one, and that gives us a Monic Tutor. How cool is that? I bet we'll get all the hoes. But of course, there's more. Another trick we can do with Gem Razor, mutate Young Wolf, so that if our creature dies, both Wolf and Gem Razor will return to the battlefield separately, each with one will counter. Another trick we can do is with Orcus Fall Master's Arctic. Token, whose wall encounters work on Gem Razor. But the downside of Mutate is that if we merge these creatures, they're susceptible to removal. And because it's better safe than pregnant, we have the Undying Instance, which means we're also running Grief. Before anyone becomes too flaccid, Grief has really had it rough lately. Ever since Furry was banned, Scam's win rate has plummeted. So us including Grief in the deck, we can think of it as Grief's Make-A-Wish. And to make the Undying Instance worth it, we have Dolphy Voidwalker, shutting off our opponent's graveyard, and stealing the cards for us to play. Lastly, there's removal, discard, and the cards for us to decline. For like endurance for favorite hate, children for card draw hate, and males from pulse for token hate. But we're digging for a card really shines is after three cyborgs. We have more token hate, white hate, combo hate, weenie hate, everything hate, counter and targeting hate, artifact hate, blue hate, land hate, active ability hate, free self hate, and permanent hate. That's a deck. And now it's time to see if the deck's any good. So off we go. So in game one of the first match, we could not get a good opening hand and got totally clapped. So we'll skip the game two. Shorting game two for another round two. Opening hands acceptable. We'll keep. We'll toss and take the counter spell. We draw a land with a case. Opponent digs and passes. Ooh, choke. But they only have one island. Over we'll Slunger 2. And Hossies. And not too bad. With one more three minutes in hand. Taking iteration is tempting. But Merc ties too much of a threat. Ooh, the counter is Kelton. That's okay. Opponent digs. Finding Ravioli good for them. Oh, it's not good for them. Play choke. And Slunger 2. Now he just has to deal with Ravioli. They play an island. My own fine Hossies. And Leather Shredder. Luckily, both the cards in our hand are good. A table of masters. Land press. We'll draw. Now we'll find a land. Okay, push our ability. And get for two. Oh, opponents will litter it. No one knows what mana says. But another canal for them. So they can make two mana next turn. Not that after all. Number two. And send it back. Another land. I will surveil. Dumping a land. And finding another. Opponent takes two. And removes our token. But because they did it on NSAP, our case still hasn't triggered yet. Oh, children, nice. Lose no counter. No counter. Our case triggers. They removal, but not that after all. Opponent can die, so they lose two. And now filters back to fondle their sack. And we take game two. So we must settle things in game three. Opening hands most good. We'll keep. We draw not dead after all. It's tempting to use it on endurance. Someone draws. Then passes. We'll surveil. And Gregor Grice. Land will take it. We'll send it back. Mother Shredder. As Temple of Masters. The counter, okay. Oh, and that top tack. Oh my goodness. Choke time. And all of our opponent's lands are islands. It Crack bottle out of sadness. We'll play Christ. And not out of insect. Oh, the fire buff canal. So they can make mana next turn. We'll send for one. Make another insect and pass. Oh, another land. Our opponent's really on a roll. This likely won't work. But endurance? Endurance hits. So no graveyard for them. Oh, what in holy heat. But that's okay. Pick your poison, that's good. Over swing. Play Woodcocker. And actually Christ. The pond of their shredder. What should our opponent do about that? Opponent fetches. To dig with iteration? Sure. They find another canal. We draw Thossies, and they're about to play Magus. That wouldn't have been good. We'll take their Magus. This for four. And pray for our opponent. Opponent shocks down the sex. You know what they say. When they shock, they're asking for the cock. Oh, opponent tries for bolt. We'll reanimate Bloodwalker. And realizing how clap they are, opponent concedes. So a fabulous start for us. And now it's on the next banking. Opening oh, hands, balls will mole. And this is slightly less balls. We'll keep. Plan for us. We'll play Young Wolf and pass. Opponent drops Stone Forge. Putting calls are complete in hand. What happens if we swing? Our opponent doesn't block. We definitely have to push. Our opponent plays Deep Root Wayfinder. When they damage us, they can surveil and return to land. So they're most definitely attacks with Zach. It's time for Christ. We'll sack our wolf and slam Wayfinder. Ooh, and there's Ghost Quarter. Good thing we took out the Wayfinder. Alley of our opponent. And grief for us. We'll make an insect. Play Grief. What? In Solitude? We lose Grief. And they blink it. We lose the Get Called, bruh. There goes Wolf. We lose Christ. And another Wayfinder for them. Gemrizer, that could come handy. For now, we'll 
hold up Bowmasters Masters and pass. Opponent swings out. We'll attempt to Lothalia. That worked. And then triple block Wayfinder. Ooh, Stone Forge. And they finally play Shadow Sphere. We'll mutate our insect. Our opponent's really confused. They lose Shadow Sphere. We'll hold back the block and pass. Uh oh, give her. I can get protection. One pair of pants later. And finally, we take game one. Going to game two is Ronaldo for all those not two. Opening oh, hand, no lands for half the mole. This kind of sucks, but we'll keep. Opponent's give her. Path of Peril. That's pretty good. So we'll hold off on Fatal Push. Opponent's Stone Forge. Finding Cauldra. With Indestructible. That's going to be annoying. Because we can't push Stone Forge. With Giver protecting it. And we can't wipe for another turn. We'll surveil and hope for grief. Oh, that's not grief. That could work. We'll play the case. And eventually find the answer for Cauldra. Opponent spanks us for six. And I suppose it's time to wipe. We'll burst one for two. Wipe the weenies. Trigger in case. Oh, another Stone Forge. If they play Shadow Spear here. We're absolutely collapsed. Darn it. How much for pick your poison? We could find Legion's End instead. Oh, we would take lethal before that happens. If our opponent takes us one, we'll have to settle things in game three. Open hands for the good run keep. We'll start with Young Wolf. Opponent plays Vile. Super naughty. We'll make them sack it. We'll get in for one pass. Opponent plays Forge. Finding calls are complete again. This time we'll push. Ooh, <laughs> grief. For now, we'll play Grace. Going for one pass. Oh, but another Stone Forge. Finding Shadow Sphere. Other calls are complete still in hand. But Daddy has a plan. Play Void Walker. Use Grace. The sack our wolf will take out some forge. We'll swim for one. And why curse totem? Well, we brought that in against them. They play Arbiter. In case for us, okay. We'll make an insect. Play Walker. And swim for three. What shall I do about that? They equip Arbiter. And go after Christ. We'll walk with everything. Ooh, a solitude. Taking out young wolf. Are they lose solitude? And our Christ survives. Ooh, a giver. Land okay. If we can just get rid of this totem, we can cast our solitude. That he knows how. We'll play the case. Sack a token with Christ. Sending Arbiter. Arbiter to Christ. Find number six. The rail. Ooh, another grief. And our case triggers. They equip the giver. And drain us for two. Now we'll play grief. Taking the cauldra. Now when they can save. So we were gonna find removal and deal lethal. It would have been so cool. But it wins the win. Now it's on the next banking. Opening oh, hand, we have a turn one grief stone to keep. We'll go for it. Grief hits. And say, but how wonderful. We'll take pact. And then we pick dryad. What shall our opponent do now? They play with land. Ooh, and gem razor. That will come in handy. It is tempting to thought seize. But Void Walker seems smarter. We'll fish for four. Opponent plays with a saga. And now we just need one more land. And they've got six will be ours. That's not a land. We'll spank our opponent for seven. They play Microsynth Gardens. I can copy an artifact. We'll put up Bowl Masters. <laughs> land, perfect. We'll mutate our token. And our opponent's thinking long and hard here. Don't raise their hits. No saga for them. And realizing they've been fondled, our opponent concedes. What a game, we're gonna try to do. Opening hand's okay. Not great, but we'll try it. And what a top deck. A book grief. Oh my, two titties for them. Um, but they have the blue. We'll take Dryad and then Titan. But we'll have to watch out for their two titties. Especially now that they've played a blue land. Skeleton for us, nice. Wolf is a four. And make our skeleton. A home passes. I was hoping they'd play an artifact. So that we could play Gem Razor here. But I suppose Collector Oof's good too. In case they draw the one rank. We'll spank for sex. And what? They play Teddy? Why? Oh no, everyone's illiterate. Menace means you need at least two creatures to block. We'll play Collector Oof and pass. Ooh, they play one rank. They will gain protection here. But they can't activate it. We still can't destroy any artifacts here. But I think it's worth playing Gem Razor. Just get rid of our skeleton. So that's what we'll do. Case triggers. They play land. They pass. Ooh, and Shieldred. We don't want to activate case just yet. Because their second titty in hand will counter. Daddy has a plan. We'll attack and see if we can draw out their titty. Indeed, it's titty time. They double block grief. Going down to five. And then we'll activate case. And we have a couple options here. We could grab Necrophilia named Titan. Because they can make six mana on their turn. Or we could just play full Plum and take out their land. Plum Plum's probably smarter. We'll play Plum Plum. They go fat dump on the land. Our opponent must be devastated. And what a salad tossing. We're like a chef that only knows how to make salads. And now it's on the next banking. Opening hands is okay, but we'll keep. And our opponents will put Pulse back. And if they're playing Temple Garden, then they probably have Sion and Draco as well. We'll play land and dig. They'll push you. On passes. Wool Masters. That's pretty good with Gem Razor. But Void Cocker seems smarter. So we're gonna steal their footfalls. A Fondix for land. And another. Two turns away from footfalls. Ow, oh, wait, I'm minding. They can void cocker. Oh, well, play Grist. They can insect and pass. Our opponent's rails. Something in their guild pack. And now Daddy has a plan. We'll mutate our insect. Take out the binding. We'll get back void cocker. There's a four. And we'll send it back. Their footfalls comes down. And now we can play with void cocker. Ooh, opponent draws three cards. How interesting. Oh, let's we'll go for it. Not dead after all in void cocker. We'll sack it. Casting footfalls. Ow, oh, force negation. Fine. We'll blow them with full masters. Sack our orc and take out a rhino. And we'll pass back.
back. Opponents wins the grace. All time for trade. Now all more rhinos. The grace goes to two. And they shock. Now all making more rhinos. Well, we'll draw. Finding a wolf. And land. Well, we're about to take a nutload of damage. But Void Walker is unblockable. And if they don't have removal, we can beat them next turn. So there's what we'll do. Without Young Wolf. Back with Christ. Who's take out a rhino? Hit them for four. And we'll hold up Endurance and pass. Our opponent swings. We'll play Endurance. And wonderful, we take him one. Going into the round of two. Oh, but it cancels a little slow. But I'm slow, so we're gonna keep. Another grief. Oh, we'll have to pass. Our opponent surveils away the guild pack. Passes an hole. Oh, not dead after all. We'll see if we can get away with this. A little grief. Our opponent cycles for land. Grief hits, and it's a little slinky. We'll need to take this member. We're gonna make grief. Now, here's where things get hard. We'll need to take Chartless. So they do have Leyland Binding. Which they can use to take out a grief. I suppose that's fine. Although we could evoke grief here. But that seems really dirty. Peter will pass. Someone talks. Please, we get a land. We'll tap out for binding. And we can choke them. Land for daddy. Praise the magic odds. There's a four. Oh, no, it's binding. It was grief. And hopefully, no force negation. Play choke. And choke heads. So one of the lands is pinned, but not the other. At least not yet. Another Christ. We'll play one. And start making attacks. One passes. Full masters. I really want to get this case moving. If only they had a creature out. We could attack our skeleton. That's a bummer. Well, we'll make an attack. And at least my skeleton can deal damage. Attack our opponent. One passes again. Oh, another Christ. Well, this for four. Well, the Blow Master doesn't pass. There's a third land, which means they can pull out Teddy. We'll see if they go for it. Play Blow Masters. We'll work on for one. Oh, and a land. We'll swing out and make one mana. Are they committing Sapoku? They do. You know what that means. We're one match away from going 5-0. Daddy will try not to blow it. You know, it's off the finals. Oh gosh, I'm playing hands kind of bad. Oh, I can't believe. I just hope they're an artifact deck. Kill the goose. Oh, and Piddle Push Ross. We'll shove their goose back up their news. Up on with Haga, and another goose. And they're an ass cookbook deck. We find endurance. We'll hold up Blowmasters and pass. Opponent passes. We'll put up Blowmasters and blow them for one. Now, unfortunately, they were on the play. And the Saga's already on two. So we'll get a construct no matter what. But we'll mutate. Uh oh. Darn it, they have Blowmasters. At least we get a 4 4. And no construct for them. Opponent mills. And returns the second Saga to hand. That's unfortunate. They make a construct. Oh, and they dig. Finding ass. So they're going to sack foods. So they take out one of our creatures. They make a food. And this is most troubling. I really like to mutate here. But whatever we target, we'll take out. So we'll simply surveil. Dumping a land. And then send it back. Up on Hisaga. And fist for five. Up on makes another food. The hit is for six. We'll play our Blowmasters. So blow their Blowmasters. And darn more land. Well, we'll go for the mutate. Now we'll Blowmaster for them. We'll clench our cheeks and pass. Up on it spanks us for six. We'll chomp. And skeleton, okay. We'll play it. Here come more constructs. And they're Blowmasters. Wait. I think they have us. Look into it is. Look into this round round two. Opening hand, we do have Voidcocker, which does help, so we'll keep. A bump his goose. Playing Voidcocker this turn feels a little risky. So for now, I'll put out case and then pass back. Upon digs. Finding global chase. It digs more. And put Cockbook in hand. Let you play the Cockbook. And get the second Daredevil back to hand. Oh boy. Maybe we should have played Voidcocker. We'll play it now. And hold up protection. They make a food. But Daredevil goes to exile. They dig for ass. Will they take out our Voidcocker now? Play another cockbook. And go for it. We're gonna make boy cocker. They do make another food. However, we'll thought seize. There's carbol masters. We'll swing. Darn it, they don't block. Why is it lagging? What? No, oh, no, push that push our ass. Now there's the finals and it's lagging. Okay, finally it works. They make another food. Why? No, oh, why are they top deck another ass? That's so racist. We lose boy cocker. Well, they have a daredevil to keep making food. Do they take out our token, please? No. Do we blow our own token? Possibly we'll hold it. Ooh, gem razor. This will be most sexy. Well, first number two. Maybe we shouldn't gem razor here, because we'll probably let it resolve, and just hit it anyway. This feels super drippy dirt. But we'll blow our own token. Dang. Case triggers, and they swing for three. We'll take it. On passes. Activator case. Rabbit explosives. Number two. Oh, we'll take out masters. We'll surveil. We'll masters on top. Play explosives on zero. We'll off us off. What shall we do now? Oh, shoot, they can get it back. Darn. Well, one wiener later. Darn it. But to be fair, our opponent drew perfectly. There we have it. Daddy was pretty impressed with the deck. The case was really hard to evaluate because whenever we played it, it felt like it wasn't doing much. But when we got to search for any card, then it felt great. But it did feel like Gem Razor stole the spotlight. But let me know what you think of the deck. And until next time, stay with heck.